Today is May 6th, 2013. My name is Kobe Coffer, and I've got some very in-depth stories for just for you today. First, I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Aller's class period three in which I will be watching this video. Today I've got news on everything from art to computer science to acting, so stay tuned. First things first, a lot of you have probably heard a lot about the Vans Custom Culture Contest, but some of you may not have heard as much. So I've prepared a short little video just to show you what the Vans Custom Culture Contest is all about. Basically, they just send us four sets of shoes, and we um, paint them based on the particular theme for, for each pair of shoes. And so after we're done doing that, we send them in, and um, 10 finalists from each region are chosen. So we're, we're one, of the, one of the 10 finalists from the California region. If we win, we win um, $50,000 for our art department, and one of our shoes is not produced. If we win $50,000, I would like to be able to do things we normally can't do with the money, like enrichment, field trips, projects, murals, things that take money outside of the regular day, that are really fun to do, that really teach kids a lot about art and the process, that we don't have the time or money to do. Um, we are currently um, number one in the, in the voting, and so we're trying to keep that up, obviously. We've been fluctuating between between number one and number two in the past week or so, and so we're just trying to keep up, keep up the first place so that we can potentially become a finalist. Right now we are in first place, and so we really need people to just go and vote, get all your friends to vote, just spread the word just throughout uh, Santa Barbara, but also just the world, and get everyone to vote so we can just maintain that so we can go to New York and hopefully win. Well, you heard them. We're currently fluctuating between first and second place. And are you going to let $50,000 slip through our fingers? I know I'm not. In other news, are you aware that we, Dos Pueblos, have our very own hacking team? That's right, and not just any hacking team, but the best hacking team in the country. They just won first place in a national hacking competition. I've performed an exclusive interview with the team just to give you an inside scoop on what exactly they do. I'm Julia Bullock. I'm Don Grossing. I'm Charlie Green. I'm Alex Myberg. I'm Andrew Dutcher. And we, we are 1064 Century Bread. Bread. So can you guys tell me a little bit about what the hacking team does and what it is? Well, really, the hacking team is just an impromptu thing that we put together. Just these five individuals decided to band together for this competition that we just finished. What is the competition? So it's what's known as PICO CTF. So CTF stands for Capture the Flag, and it's similar to a normal type of capture the flag with football or footballs or things like that. But instead of the flags being a football or a frisbee, instead there are keys that you have to find that are planted on servers or um, generally running under services. And then what you have to do is hack into these different services or programs that are running on servers and figure out a way to get the key. And then when you put in the key, you get points and your points go up. Okay, how many teams participate in this competition? 1,700. Well, actually, uh, actually first, it's, it's climbing throughout the entire time that the competition runs, but it's about up to 2,000 right now. And so these teams are from, all, from high schools all across the nation, um, whether they be in Virginia or here in California. So. And where do you guys stand in this? We won. Yeah, we got first place. Um, we were able to solve all of the problems before anyone else, and that's made us the winner. What oh. kind of prizes did you guys win? The school's CS department won $8,000, and then the team as a whole won $4,000. And, and we get nine books from Wiley Publishing, which is mostly um, sort of scientific or technology-related hacking books. Okay, anything else I should know about the hacking team? Uh, in media, hackers are represented very differently from what they actually are. Whereas the term hacker actually derives from one who makes furniture with an axe. So one who just goes about doing things in an unconventional way. So it, it really, in real life, a hacker is someone who tries to put together so, some solution from unconventional materials. 
Wow, isn't that amazing? Hackers are people just like us. If you would like to find out more about the hacking team, you can talk to Mr. McKee. If you would like to view the extended version of this interview, you can go to kobyscorner.dpnews.org. Also, if you would like to ask me to do an interview with you on something amazing you and or a team of people are doing, post it at kobyscorner.dpnews.org slash askkobe. Yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, and we have a very special video to tell you more about that.